Experts always say first impressions matter most because people size us up in three seconds to two minutes. Well, I'd like to take it a step further and say second impressions matter most. Really? Really? Hi, I'm Donna Newman of WeBuildYourSocialMedia.com and we're all well schooled to make a powerful first impression. But we flop on our second impression. It's called follow-up. Remember, a follow-up isn't always about business so much as it's about showing people how much you care. So here are some tips for how you can use Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook to create a memorable second impression. First, following up via Twitter. A direct message, hey, that's an effective way to follow up with people privately. I usually use a direct message when I want to thank someone or someone I just met for a valuable advice or some insights they gave me or maybe I'm going to offer them some additional ideas to the conversation we had. As well, when I've met someone who made a powerful first impression upon me, I start following them on Twitter. And when I see they've tweeted something of value to me, I click reply so I can comment on what they said. Or I retweet their message showing the person that I endorse their tweet. This starts the conversation and also shows that I'm actively interested in what that person is saying. Second, following up via LinkedIn. Funny. While I think commenting on a person's LinkedIn status can be useful for following up, if I want a person to contact me and pursue a possible business relationship, I initially follow up our offline meeting by sending them a private message. You might even ask them to connect with you, but Ooh, this is a biggie for me. Make sure you customize the invitation. Don't use LinkedIn's default invite. Another way to follow up is to write a recommendation. Maybe have a strategy to do this twice a year as a way of thanking people who stood out to you in a remarkable way over the course of the last six months. It's an easy way to stay top of mind with the person you're recommending, as well as, as well as gets you more exposure if they post your recommendation on their profile. Finally, Following up via Facebook. This is one of my favorites. If you made a powerful first impression, if you made a powerful first impression with someone, ask them to be your friend, but always add a personalized note about how you met and why they made an impression upon you. If for some reason you don't want them to be a Facebook friend, then send them a private Facebook message. Once your Facebook friends, however, choosing to like something on their wall isn't as good as following up. It's just simple engagement. While I might tell someone that I like their status, it doesn't, it's not meaningful and it doesn't engage them in a manner that's actually significant. However, commenting on someone's status update can easily lead to conversation. So always check the notifications feature on Facebook to see who liked or commented on your statuses so you can follow up. Hey, the biggest idea I can leave you with is that most people, most people don't follow up. So if you do, you've got a powerful second impression. So no excuses, guys. Use LinkedIn, use Twitter, use Facebook to help you follow up in a timely fashion. Join me next time for another social media moment on Getting the Dish with Donna.